Good morning, guys. Welcome to the day after all of our Christmas festivities are done. It, we we are exhausted. None of us had showers. None of us, actually, Gabby, did you have a shower today? None of us had showers. None of us got ready for the day. We're wearing sweats and we just want to relax. But there are a couple things that we got for Christmas and we want to play with one of them today. I love it. So we took down the Christmas tree. It's looking super bare in here. Like there's nothing in here anymore. Super not cozy. We moved the coffee table out and we're gonna try and set up this amazing agility set that Sam bought us. It is super dark and dreary outside. Again, it's raining. Can't get out, we can't do anything. Sophie's getting a, <laughs> so. <laughs> You need to put them further apart for her. Sam bought this on Timu and it was, I forget how much it was. I'm gonna get a comparison here and see if I can show you how much it was on Timu and how much it was on um, Amazon. Wow, look at you go. Santa brought us a lot of treats for the dogs so that we can train them to play with this. This is something that I asked for and Sam's gonna add to it. We're gonna add to it this spring when it starts to dry out. Outside is a muddy mess right now. So if he made treats. Molly. We need to put all the dogs away while we just let one dog try at a time. Ready? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, all right. uh, so Sophie's idea is that they can jump onto their bed. Oh, jump onto the bed? Yeah. She's going to be fabulous. This way. This way. You missed one. This way. Come here. All the dogs are so confused. Ellie's like, what about me? You're going last, Ellie. You're going last. So obviously this is for outside and this is not how you're meant to, to set it up. Two of the poles are meant to go. She doesn't do jumping. Two of the, that's okay. We never really jumped her. Well, the only dog of ours that's like a big jumper is Ruby. And she came to us like that when she was two and a half years Ruby old. Four feet. Ruby could jump four feet for sure. See, you're trying, you're we're supposed to not knock these down. All right. <laughs> Daisy's like, help, like me. help me, please just get her away from me. Oh, Can't me. you teach her with the treat in front of your hand? I gave her a treat. She ran away to her cage to eat it. Oh. <laughs> She's like literally climbing up me. Help! <laughs> that is honestly an example of how Daisy is. Daisy is a bit, I don't know the right word. Like it's, I don't know if it's Pretty neurotic. Going. If neurotic is the word, but she's very emotional. Mary, <laughs> where are you going? Come here. And Dalmatians tend to be more of a nervous dog. Come here. Yeah, good girl. She can't get I feel like we should do it. We should move them back. Gabby, move your Santa sack full of treats. <laughs> is that what that is? All their prized possessions from Christmas are all down here. They don't need to be bigger. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit. There she goes. Daisy. Daisy. Where, where are you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Good job. Good yeah, good girl. <laughs> Ellie's like, I want to, I want to play too, but I don't know what to do. Ellie, come here. Come here. <laughs> Ruby's stuck in it. <laughs> Ellie, come here. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Wow. No. That loop is is not very big. So these are meant to be jumps, like that one at the end there. But Sophie just put them up for weaving poles. I'm gonna get Sam to get get us some weaving poles. Here, you sit here. Sit. You stay here. That's a girl. All right, so we're doing L Daisy first. She's just practicing. This is something that we're gonna play with a lot outside. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Playing cool, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by.
here waiting they're so excited Daisy's so excited for her turn they all want to go in and they're excited except for Ellie Ellie doesn't want to do it we had to take a break and get something to eat we are starving so leftovers for today last night's the first day that we had our turkey dinner and my stuffing turned out perfect yeah, like look at how good it looks what? I liked it better before you liked it better before mm, I thought it turned out perfect and I'm having some turkey and cranberries, this is, these are my two favorite parts of Christmas dinner. All right, so we've had dinner, and we're, are you putting it away? No. Go over. Do you think they can do a jump yes. triple paw? Molly just did it. Ruby did not. Well, Ruby split it. So brave and so stupid. Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like I feel like, come on, come on, Ellie. I feel like she'd do it outside. But it's been raining all day. To put the fatties to bed. But you are not pregnant. I actually feel so blessed that we got to celebrate with so many people this year. I'm exhausted for it. Lots of people get sick at Christmas time. I feel like because they overdo it. She's gonna take every stall for food. Yeah, she is. All right, let's get food going. And we're not sick, but I'm definitely feeling it today. I'm feeling like hungover. I think it's from all the food we ate. Holiday hangover. I think that's what you have to call it. From the food and from the fun and from the energy and from all the people. And I feel like you can look at farm life in two different ways. So during holidays, it can feel like an extra thing to have to do. It can feel like something that takes you away from your family and your friends and your presence. It can feel like a lot of work. But also, how I look at it is that it's an opportunity to recharge and get away from the holiday and we'll get away from all the presents and all the food and all the friends and all the noise. Like, it, 
it's re it, it's relaxing and it brings me back to myself and especially because it's exercise. I don't think people realize how much exercise there really is on a farm. All the lifting, all the walking. Because it's a constant thing. You're never just sitting in your house. Look how fat he is though. I know. We all have our winter coats on. We all have our winter bodies no, on. still his belly. I know. He's so big. He came to say Merry Christmas to the grandkids yesterday. They were all excited to see him. Didn't you? Yeah. Ow! It's that is not bite. nice. It's a love bite. He's like, ha! Huh. <laughs> Don't come to me. Ellie. Look at, her. Look at how cute he is, though. Doesn't he have a cute face? I know. He, he got, <laughs> he's got rolls now. He's fat. Yeah, I think our cat is a little bit chunky. We'll but keep eating all the money. You can't really tell because they have those fur coats on. You can see his stomach hanging down. So for as excited as I get for every holiday season to start and for us to be able to spend time with our family and friends, I'm always equally happy when it's over. I feel like this is the first real Christmas since 2020, since COVID happened. I feel like this is the first time we actually all really got to celebrate with everyone. It looks so cute. So that must be where he's been sleeping. I love that. We should climb up there and put his bed up there. Ollie, what's going on? We got to be with all of our friends and all of our family and it was so much fun. That is officially a wrap for the 2023 Christmas celebration and I am glad to see it go. All that work and all that energy. I want to settle down and get to birth in our goats and getting ready for spring and just enjoying our family and our animals and trying to find my girls some horses. But anyway, that is it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you